Today I'm using a Core 1130. You can also get, excuse me, this is an 1120. You can also get an 1130, which is the barbless uh, pinch of barbs. I'm using a little brown CDL here. It's gonna ride a little lower where these fish or these insects are just more vulnerable. That's looking pretty good. I don't mind a thick tail. You can always thin that out to your liking. And this is a size 16. You can tie these as small as 20s. Um, I'm going to go down to, into that hook bend a little like there and come back up. And you'll see throughout this whole process, I'm going to leave room behind the eye of the hook for the wing at the end, okay? Next, I'm taking a biot. This is a goose biot. You have these thinner ones, but I'm taking from the inside here. You have this curved side, and I want it to have the rib. This is going to create the rib. So I want the curved side facing into the hook. So that way when it comes out, that edge of this feather will create that rib. And I'm coming back up. And right here, I'm gonna put a couple of half hitches just to lock this in because I'm gonna be using my rotary function of my vise. All right, I'm taking a little bit of Loctite. Take a little dab of that. Put that on that body. Just rip that back and forth just a little bit. I'm gonna be using a little hackle plier here. And I'm gonna start that off on the back. The thread could give it a little hot spot too. These first few wraps, just watch the barb and the point of the hook. You can see I'm getting some really nice segmentation. So I get to right there. I'd rather stop short than go too far. I'm gonna do a couple wraps. Really lock that in nice and tight. Get my sharp scissors really get in there nice and tight as well. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of dubbing wax. And I'm just using some dry fly dubbing, gluing all the color, just a little tiny bit, just a little pinch. Just a little tiny pinch, probably cut that in half. Just a little guy, there we go. Stuffed up really tight and with the wax, that's not going anywhere. We'll start right here, work our way back. Just a nice little ball. At this point, I like to turn my hook up. These curved hooks, sometimes for finishing them, that could be a little frustrating. So I'll turn it up, like about to there, so I can actually get a nice working surface here on the top. Next thing you, we're taking is a couple of CDC feathers. I'm just using the natural color. You can get white, you can get any color you want, really. This stuff comes in all these different shades. And all we're doing, we're taking two feathers, we're lining up the tips. And if they're a little bit different color, like this one's a little more darker, I like that. It gives it a little contrast. I'm gonna lick my fingers just so I can work this out a little easier. And you can thin this wing out. I like mine personally to float really deep in the water column you know, the general area of your fly. So you're watching for strikes. And we're gonna measure this out about a hook's length in front of the eye. So it's gonna be pretty short. I'm gonna cord up my line. Right about there looks pretty good. I'm gonna do a pinch wrap. I 
We get a good three, four wraps right there. Hold that. I'm going to pinch all this back now. Start getting some really tight wraps in there, building a little dam. You can see. That's why I like to put that hook facing up. Okay, once I get some pretty good wraps, I'm going to go ahead at this point, I'm going to take my whip finisher and we're going to finish this fly off. Take your time, get some nice wraps right behind that CDC. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna cut this thread out of my way. I'm gonna kind of play with this right now because before I cut anything, and I like this, this is how that fly is going to sit in the water, by the way. It's going to kind of float down deep. It's an emerger. Um, it's a cripple, um, just meaning that's a bug that just didn't quite make it. We're looking really good. You can see um, the beautiful segmentation of the body. You can use super glue here. I'm just using some penetrator, hard as hole. It really soaks up. It's going to really hit that CDC beautifully. I'm going to come at it from the bottom. I'm gonna hit that thread base. And if a little bit gets on that dubbing, that's okay. And if you don't feel that you really got it nice and saturated, do it again. There we go. And then I'm gonna let that just kind of settle. Once that's had a couple of seconds to kind of dry, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna cut this back wing off right at the end of the dubbing. So it's like a little overwing. Coming right about there, boom, oops. And there you go. There, this is kind of your variation of Morris May Emerger. Um, instead of using deer hair though, I'm just using CDC, so floats. You can treat that with a floatant. I do recommend the uh, super glue underneath the body you could also use a rib with a wire to really get that uh, locked in. But personally, I, li I like it simpler, just like this. Um, give them a shot. These are great flies. If you could